AOP is counting in probability 12.16. A. Does every row of Pascal's triangle except for the top row have an even number of odd numbers? If so, why? B. What happens when we add every other term in each row? So n k, n choose k is equal to n choose n minus k, where n is the row number and k is the term in that row. Because so, because these if you they're matching up, they come in pairs. So if n over if n choose k is odd, then n choose n minus k is also odd, and the odd entries come in pairs. So the number of odd entries is even. And b, what happens when we add every other term? So n choose 0 plus n choose 1 all the way to n choose n is equal to 2 to the power of n. And since every other term is n choose 0 plus n choose 2 plus n choose 4, which is also equal to n choose 1 plus n choose 3 plus n choose 5. So that means 2 times n choose 0 plus n choose 2 plus n choose 4 and so on is equal to 2 to the power of n because all, all both of these these two added together is equal to 2 choose 2 to the power of n. So that means 2 of these is also 2 to the power of n, which means 1 of n choose 0 plus n choose 4 is equal to half of 2 to the power of n, which is 2 to the power of n minus 1. AOP is counting on probability 12.17. Prove that this is equal to this. So n choose 0 times n choose 1 plus n choose 1 all of this is equal to n choose 0 times n choose n minus 1 plus n choose 1 times n choose n minus 2 because they come in pairs. So if it's n2, n2 is equal to n over n minus 2. So the committee of size n minus 1 from 2n people with n men and n women, this is equivalent to that. So that there are 2n choose n minus 1 ways. So if the committee has k men and n minus 1 minus k men, women, that means there are n choose k times n choose n minus 1 minus k ways. AOP is counting on probability 12.18. Find the smallest value of n such that row n of Pascal's triangle contains three successive entries with ratio 3 to 4 to 5. So if they are three successive entries, that means they can be written as n choose k minus 1, n k, and n k plus 1. So the ratio of this, uh, the ratio of the three entries is n factorial over k minus 1 factorial times n minus k plus 1 factorial to n factorial this. So if you cancel out the n in all three and multiply each term by k plus 1 factorial times n minus k plus 1 factorial, that means this ratio is equal to k times k plus 1 to k plus 1 times n minus k plus 1 to n minus k times n minus k plus 1. And since the ratio needs to be 3 to 4 to 5, then we can find the ratio by doing 4k. 4, 4, k, 4 times k times k plus 1 is equal to 3 times k plus 1 times n minus k plus 1. And 5 times k plus 1 times n minus k plus 1 is equal to 4 times n minus k times n minus k plus 1. So we just solve for these, these equations. So then we get n is equal to 62 and k is equal to 27. So the row number, which is n, the row number is 62.